Metropolis is firing up in trade after reporting its Q2 numbers. The company during its conference call said that it will achieve its mid-teen revenue growth target in FY25. Ekta, you're, you've been following up on that? Well, yes. Uh, you know, the numbers came out on Saturday and the numbers were okay. Revenue growth was only around 3 odd percent. They had margins of 24 percent versus 26 percent and the street was anticipating 26 percent margins. And the profit dipped as well and it was lower than what the street was anticipating. But uh, the internals look good. So the core business, which is X of COVID-19 as well as uh, any government contract, was up 13% year on year. Premium wellness, which is now 14% of their sales, was up 27% year on year, and specialized testing was up 12%. But the real kicker for Metropolis actually came through after their conference call, which was held at 9 a.m. this morning. They have said that they are targeting mid teen revenue growth, which is intact. Uh, they estimate 12 to 13% volume growth, 3 to 4% revenue uh, per patient growth. So that is basically pricing growth. EBITDA margins in FY24 will be similar to last year, which is which was 25% in FY23. Sustainable margins are 26 to 27%. They expect margin expansion post FY25 because uh, they are expanding uh, their labs and hence there is margin dilution on account of that. They are optimistic about volume growth, which is trending higher than the pre-COVID levels of 9%. Premium wellness is the fastest growing segment and they are bullish on that. They will look at acquisitions as well going forward, which strategically benefit them. And lastly, discounting from new age players has reduced. This is something that Dr. Lal's mentioned as well. Mm. And uh, these new age companies are seeing reduced traction in metro cities as well. So that's the overall picture. That's the reason you're seeing Metropolis up 6%. So that's an interesting takeaway, you know, the fact that discounting from new age companies has reduced. And that's given a fresh lease of lies to a lot of companies. We, we did hear from the management of Thyrocare, Dr. Lal's, and now Metropolis, the third diagnostic company, saying the premium wellness is doing well and competitive intensity in terms of discounting has reduced. And that's caused a bit of a spike in all these companies. So Metropolis currently at the high point of trade because that's the stock in focus. But if you look at the, this month's move of uh, stocks like Thyrocare or even Dr. Lal's, that's telling you that, you know, these stocks perhaps may have put some of a bit of a bottom in place and have begun to recover from those lows.